This is the Chemistry for Biology channel. I'm John Irwin. Today's topic is I am interested in natural products. You can find this video and more ones like it on our website, on our YouTube channel. You can like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. This work comes from the University of California, San Francisco, Department of Pharmaceutical Chemistry. Uh, our topic today is about natural products. Natural products are very special molecules uh, in, the, in the area of um, searching for new drugs. About 40% of drugs are natural products or derivatives of natural products. And so there's a lot of interest na naturally in uh, looking at natural products. So let's get straight started. I'm going to show you how to use zinc to work with natural products. So this is the zinc interface, zinc.docking.org. And if you go to subsets, catalog, you'll find a tab. This is, all the, this is all the catalogs that are in zinc, but we're interested in the natural products. So we're going to click on NP for natural products. If you hover your mouse over there, it'll say natural products. There are 10 natural product catalogs in zinc, and um, they're here below. And in each case, we have a number of molecules in the source catalog, and then a resulting number that are in zinc. And the reason why this number, you think, how could this number, the number loaded, be higher than the number in the source catalog? And the answer is some of those molecules may have been stereochemically ambiguous. And so we enumerated up to four stereoisomers per ambiguous molecule. We've also filtered out some molecules uh, because they're just not compatible with docking. For example, vancomycin is a natural product. Uh, you can go straight in and just simply look at these molecules. So if you click on, uh, if you, let me just go right through the list. Here are all the different catalogs. So if you just want to look at the molecules and you click on there, you can see the smiles. That's the original unfiltered catalog. If you click on, let's go back here, the zinc entries, uh, it should take us to, what does it take us to? It allows us to uh, browse the molecules online. If you click on the number filtered, you can see molecules that were filtered out of the catalogs and why. And if you click on just an overview, it takes you in and allows you to look at the molecules just as if you'd done a zinc search. And so this molecule is a natural product. It's in, in, in the company identifies it as such. And uh, you can also purchase these compounds. So that's really interesting because they're natural products and they're also commercially available. And that's really what zinc is all about. Now, we've also created a second uh, subset under subsets properties and now if you go into this now this is where you'll find these popular lead like and fragment like subsets of zinc but if you go into the special tab then you'll see these special subsets we've created and one of them in particular is called ZNP it's subset number 98 and it's all commercially available natural products which incorporates metabolites uh, and we reckon that there are 176,000 molecules, which are both natural products and metabolites. And so, um, terrific. You can simply download them. If you can download them in Smiles, SDF, MOL2. Uh, you can also simply just go into our um, uh, and look at them for yourself and decide if you believe that they really are natural products. These sure one, these ones sure do look like natural products. And if you click on the ZNP, um, then you can uh, get a detail page. It looks just like another subset in zinc. And then you're going to be able to look at uh, distributions and clustering and the download page. And we've already prepared everything in MOL2, SDF, and everything else, Smiles. And you can simply download them. For instance, to download the Smiles, you would simply click on this button here. There you are. There's your Smiles. It's been downloaded to the, data, to the directory. MOL2, you'd have to click on all those buttons. Or you could, download on the, you could click on the Download Script button and then run the script on your local computer. We'll cover the use of scripts in another presentation. Okay, well I hope you found that interesting. Uh, this is all, Zinc has a lot of resources that are of use for, uh, that are of interest to people who are interested in natural products. And, um, and so uh, there was one last item of, uh, of natural products, predicting the biological targets of natural products. I don't have time to do that in this video because I want to keep the videos short. So we'll do a separate video where we predict the biological targets uh, of, of natural products, which is quite interesting for uh, drug discovery. 
And so uh, this is time to remind you that uh, this is the Chemistry for Biology channel. I'm John Irwin, and this has been a presentation called I'm Interested in Natural Products. Uh, you can follow us on Facebook and YouTube, and this work was supported by the NIH. See you next time.